Hey guys, what is going on? It's another video from the Viking Gamers, another mod spotlight, and yes, we've been doing them all day, all night, just uploading. We've uploaded almost 10 videos today. After this one, once I upload this one, that is 10 in one day. Pretty impressive. I like that. And uh, we'll tell you guys why tomorrow, why we're uploading all these videos, or at least I'll put out an announcement video. But let's jump into this mod. It is the Fallen Sword mod, fairly new mod, on Planet Minecraft that I'd found. And I was like, hey, it looks pretty cool. Give this guy some, you know, popularity, some downloads, hopefully. Apparently it's based off of a Fallen Sword MMORPG game that he played years ago. So basically it adds bronze, mithril, ruby, blood ruby, and a bunch of other sort of, I guess, random set of weapons and armor. It also adds three mobs, as you can see down here. We have the Spawn Count Garblas, Spawn Cursed Samurai, and Spawn Corrupted Knight, which we will obviously spawn later. Right now we're going to jump into the bronze. Like any other normal armor, that is how you'll make it. Basically the same, just with bronze ingots. Same with the tools, bronze ingots. Sorry about that Skype message. There we go. Then again with the block, it's the same. Nuggets, it's the same. And next thing, we're jumping into the mithril. Mithril, however you want to pronounce it, which is the same thing as before. So as the same way you create it, just with mithril ingots, and you get the purple armor. Mithril. Then we have the same thing with mithril again, same items and all that. Just want to get this really fast because it's not really complicated, I would say. Same thing with block, especially one in the middle here. Don't listen to me. Then we jump into ruby, which we have here. And we got the ruby ones right here. Like I said before, same as every other armor in the game uh, here. Rubies. And then we jump into the blood rubies, which is personally my favorite looking armor. It has the same as, like I've said before, same tools. And over here, we, they sort of the custom weapons. I only put a diamond sword in here just to compare damages. We have the sword of carnage, which does... 46 attack damage compared to a diamond sword, it's plus 7. Then you have the Cursed Samurai Sword, which does plus 70. That's 10 times the diamond sword. Then over here we have the two armors it adds. It adds the Heavy Fighters, which is pretty cool, with the Heavy Hammer. And it adds the Assassin's Armor with the Assassin's Dagger. And uh, we had the new ores over here. We have the Bronze Ore, the Mithril Ore. The Blood Ruby Ore and the Ruby Ore, which they look pretty good. These two obviously are just built off the other ores, and these two are sort of like a, you know, custom custom slash unique design, which I like. And uh, we'll jump right into the uh, the armor, what they look like on you, of course. Let's go ahead and grab these, put these on. And I'm actually going to step out of game mode here. Going to need some food, so let's grab some cooked salmon. Going to need more than that. Might have given me one. Give me six to four, please. And uh, the bronze armor looks as uh, this is what the bronze armor looks like facing my character. Looks pretty snazzy, I have to say. Let's take, let's throw that off, and let's jump over here to the mithril. Let's throw that on. Pants, chest plate, helmet, boots. Little shiny purple there, almost like a Ravens purple if you're a football fan in America, football or American football. Little shiny though, I like that also. It's pretty nice. I like how his armor has that shine to it that just makes you want to put it on, make it look all nice and fancy. Then here we have the ruby one, which is of course going to be a red. There we go, nice and shiny, like I said before. It's pretty good. And over here we have the blood ruby, which is going to be like a darker red, I guess. Okay, like a lighter slash darker. Yeah, I don't know. I like the color of that though. Probably my favorite one. Out of the four armors this adds now. Out of the new out of the two armors and also what this the sword looks like wielded. That is what it looks like. And let's take out the cursed samurai sword. That is what that looks like. Looks pretty nifty. And the armors with the weapons they have. Okay, let's try putting on this. It looks a little weird with my character, but it's alright. But uh, there's a the hammer with the armor, okay. And then let's take that off and let's throw on the assassins with that dagger. And you can't see it. Boom. Isn't that magic? But uh, let's go into some first person here. And we're going to see what these... Oh, it does allow you to... Oh, it does give you all these boosts. Didn't even realize that. Let's see what the other one had in here. Gives you some. Okay. Gives you sort of a fatigue since it's heavy. I like the assassins, not going to lie. Let's try out the spawn count. Holy crap, what just happened? I had, I had not actually spawned any of them. 
So I guess that's what he does. Let's actually get out of game mode to actually see what just happened there. And looks like he decided to run away. Run away from home. Just kind of throw these on lethal craft. And uh, I want to try out the uh, spawn corrupted knight, basically. I do want to take off this armor, though. Where the heck? And these guys, like, zipping around, don't they? But there's the corrupted knight, if you guys managed to see him. I don't really know if you guys did. But, uh... And then the samurai... The samurai. Samurai is next. The cursed samurai, which is... Looks like that. They do like to run around a lot, but, uh... Oh, apparently they fight too. That's cool. Do they fight other samurais? Looks like it. So you can have wars. You guys want to have like samurai wars there? But uh, I was gonna set all the uh, crafting recipes up on them, but that would take ages, and I didn't really have ages to record this video. But make sure you guys leave a like and a share if you guys want your mod in a showcase. Just post it down in the comments. I'll gladly take a look into it, see if I want to showcase it or not, which you probably will. And, uh, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, share the video for the developers, help them get a little more views, and me, helps both of us out, and I'll see you guys next time.